Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I am showing you what I bring with me uh, when I go play pool. This is basically just what I brought to me when Philadelphia, plus a couple add-ons that I got since then that I will bring again this year for the Super Billiards Expo and any other place that I go. So let's just start off with the thing that's closest to me. This is a Delta 13 rack. It's custom. Uh, this is the Elite Rack, as it says right there. Uh, it's got Jaden Dupree and Dupree Trick Shots on the sides, and then Delta 13. And this is the Select Rack right here, and these are Q-Tech balls right there. So this is the Select Patriotic Rack, uh, again with Jaden Dupree. See, Delta 13 Select, and Dupree Trick Shots again. So, like that. This is my glove you see me wearing in my videos. It's very, very torn up. I need to get a new one. But this is just uh, the Pro Series glove. Just slide it onto your hand, and it makes your cue really, really smooth. Uh, you don't have to clean it too often. We're going to start with the accessories and then get to the cues. You saw this ball sitting on top of this one. You might wonder why. This is just a fun little gimmick ball. It's got a hole drilled on the top. And a flat surface on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it on camera. There it is. Uh, but it lets you stack balls on top, and it's pretty fun to mess around with. This is the later, like the early version of the IQ. Uh, it's just a little training ball to show you different points to hit on the cue ball. This is the new updated version of the IQ. It all that's different is just it says IQ in the center now. Uh, same thing, just really good tool for helping your muscle memory and mechanics. This is an Aramith Red Dot cue ball. I, I'd bring several of these. I own about four or five of them. Uh, but a lot of people think the dots are contact points. No, it's usually just used to show spin. Uh, this is called a TV Pro Series ball. And it's used on TV to demonstrate spin. It's obviously can show spin better now that it has dots on it. You can't really see a uh, plain white ball spinning. Over here is my Click Billiards uh, cue cloth that Click Billiards sent me. Thank you to all those there uh, for this, just to clean your shaft with. Uh, again, I get a lot of questions which chalk do I use. I sometimes use Predator. I ran out of my Predator. I just ordered some new ones. They should be here Friday. Uh, but usually, if I don't have Predator, I'll bring Brunswick with me, uh, though I don't think color really matters, uh, but Blue Brunswick. Now, this is my Eric Yao Mass AQ. Uh, it's got, it's heavier than a regular Q, and it puts an insane amount of spin on the ball. Uh, you can see the Preacher, Eric Yao, uh, WPA Mass A World Champion, and then a signature down here. Uh, but this is what you see in my trick shot videos when I curve the ball a lot. It's a lot heavier and a lot shorter, and the tip is wider. It has an Elk Master tip on it uh, with, a, with a metal ferrule just for a harder hit. Uh, I'll do my playing cue last. This is my Mez Air Drive jump cue right here. Uh, this is just if I need to pull off a jump shot. I really like this wooden one. I have a metal Q-Tech bullet jump cue. Let me grab that real quick. I'm also going to grab my Marty Carey jump cue. The Marty Carey jump cue, I'll show that one first. Marty Carey jump cue is this carbon fiber cue that you see right here with the G10 tip, I think it's called. Uh, you don't really need to chalk it that much at all. It's really, really light. And it's for jumping when you're really close. So you can jump this uh, when a ball is as little as a centimeter away, and sometimes even frozen if you're really good with it. So this is a cue I would not get. This is the Q-Tech Bullet. I really despise this cue. I did not like it at all, and that's why I got my Mass Air Drive. This is the extended version. Uh, you can take this on and off, but we're not going to do that right now. But this is the cue that Shane Van Boning uses. And I don't know how he gets it to work that well. I do not like this at all. It's got a weird tip on it that breaks. Uh, and every time you get a new tip that it needs, it breaks. So he must 
be doing some voodoo stuff. I don't know what he's doing that makes it jump that well. But next let's get this is a Lukasi. This was my dad's cue. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what model it is. It's got the nice grip right here and uh, just a regular Lukasi shaft. This is the cue my dad had when he tried pool hustling in college. Uh, it didn't really work out too well. This is my break slash jump cue. If I have a far jump shot, this is the cue that I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and assemble it for you real quick. But this is also my break cue. Again, it's a break slash jump cue. It's a player's cue. Uh, that's the brand. If you don't know what I'm talking about, players. Uh, you can see it there at the bottom, players. I really, really like it as a break cue. Uh, I wouldn't jump with it full length. There's an extension right here that you take off. Uh, you can jump with it as a full length cue if it's a really far jump and you don't need to jump over like a whole ball. Uh, but I like using this cue for some jumps. I'm kind of running low on time on my camera, so I'm going to stop it and we can start back up again. So let's just do that real quick. Okay, so that was my player's jump break cue. Next, we, this is my playing cue. This is my Miyuchi Black Dot Shaft White Crusher. So, uh, it's got a real beautiful design on it down here. Uh, the Bob Miyuchi logo right there. Something's on it on the bottom. Let's get that off real quick. Ah, it's chalk. Got some chalk at the bottom. I'm going to clean it with the cue cloth after this. But real nice diamond design right here. It's a custom cue. Uh, and then the shaft is kind of dirty still. I need to clean it with my cue cloth. But this is the black dot shaft. See, it's got a black dot. Uh, it hits real, real nice as you see in all of my videos. I'm going to screw it together real quick for you guys. Only thing I don't like about it is how long the screw is. It takes a while to screw and unscrew as my player's uh, jump brake cue just screws together right then. But if I had a Mewtwo jump brake cue, I would definitely use that more often. But it's it's really a beautiful cue. I really, really like it. I just have a regular leather tip on the end, nothing fancy. Uh, I'm planning on getting a Kamui tip. I have Kamui chalk, uh, but I used that up. I used that for about a year. Uh, I think it was Kamui.98. So if you are looking for any chalk, uh, it is expensive though, but it's definitely worth it. So this was my Miyuchi playing cue. Uh, this is all my stuff. I think this retails for about somewhere around the $600 range. Uh, this you can just get for like $10. Just ask like Steve Markle or Matthew Weber and you can buy one from them. The Elite Rack I believe is $140 and the Select is $80. Uh, I believe my Bullet, do not get it, it was around $120. This, I do not remember how much this was, uh, but this I got from Christmas from my aunts. I do not remember how much this one was either, but this is worth it however much it was. Uh, well, I want to say around like $150, uh, but it's definitely worth it. This is a $300 cue, I believe, from Lucasi, uh, but you can definitely correct me if it's not. This is just a regular player's uh, jump break cue. You can find it at pretty much any pool store. Again, this retails for around 600 And this, the Eric Yao Masse Q, hard to find. Uh, they retail for around $300. And the IQ training ball, this goes for about $20 or $25. You can just go to iqclinic.com. If I remember to link it in the description, you can just go there. Uh, $20, $25, $2 from each purchase goes to the Boys and Girls Club. This Aramith Red Dot, it's kind of expensive. Uh, it's only, it's like 30 bucks, uh, but that's expensive for a cue ball in my opinion. But yeah, that is all that I carry around with me. I have a few more cues, uh, but that video would take forever. I have a lot of pool stuff, but this is just my most important things. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post again, click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. If 
you guys want the IQ, again, I'll try to remember to link it down in the description, iqclinic.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.